a fascist human empire, killer spacebugs, and psychic warfare. Starship Troopers spawned several sequels and spin-offs, but the plot can be confusing to follow. Unlike the 1959 novel of the same name by Robert Heinlein, which is set some 700 years into the future, the Starship Troopers film takes place in the 23rd century. An exact date is never given, but it's clear that this is a futuristic time where humans have developed technology not only to explore space but also to colonize new worlds. A military government known as the United Citizen Federation rules with an iron fist. This group sees power following the collapse of several democratically elected governments around the world. After the United Citizen Federation was established, it ensured that fundamental rights were only awarded to those who volunteered for military service. This meant that only veterans could gain citizenship, with the rest of the population referred to as civilians who are unable to vote or easily acquire licenses to legally have children. The United Citizen Federation not only had a sizable and powerful military force, but also set out to colonize space, expanding the reach of humanity to more than a dozen planets and moons. However, at one point during their expansion, the military encountered arachnids, insect-like alien creatures. This species was not only as advanced as humanity, but had already established an empire of its own, with many worlds under their direct control. The events of Starship Troopers focus on Johnny Rico and his friends. After leaving school, he decides to enlist in federal service against the wishes of his parents, who try to persuade him to go to college instead. While he joins in the hope of being assigned to the same division as Carmen, his girlfriend, the two go their separate ways when she's sent to the fleet to train as a pilot. Johnny is instead sent to join the mobile infantry, while his friend Carl, a highly talented telepath, is sent to military intelligence. Johnny quickly demonstrates that he's a model soldier and impresses his superiors during boot camp. Before too much time passes, he's promoted to squad leader of his platoon and takes charge of his fellow recruits during training exercises. On one such exercise, a fellow soldier is killed when he makes a fatal error, resulting in Johnny offering his resignation from the mobile infantry. He receives lashes as corporal punishment. Not long after this, a giant asteroid hurtles through space and crashes into Earth. According to the United Citizen Federation, the rock originated from the arachnid quarantine zone and causes mass destruction. The densely populated city of Buenos Aires in Argentina is directly impacted, with millions dying as a result of the carnage. This provides a turning point in the Starship Troopers movie. Johnny Rico decides to stay in the military and join the cause to fight the arachnids. The military government uses the apparent attack as a justification for declaring war upon the arachnids. They use the threat of other potential asteroid attacks to rally both the Federal Armed Services and all of humanity, mobilizing the fleet, mobile infantry, and military intelligence to prepare for the armed conflict that is to come. The first bug war, as it later becomes known, is a long, drawn-out struggle that lasts for more than five years. The war starts in earnest when the United Citizen Federation decides to launch an invasion of the arachnid home planet. Clendathu. The Battle of Clendathu sees a huge force land on the planet, while dozens of Corvette transport ships remain in orbit to provide air cover. However, the arachnids are far more organized and predicted by fleet command, and quickly set up defenses. Many ships are lost to plasma fire, and hundreds of thousands of troops are killed by arachnids on the ground. The invasion of the arachnid home planet can't be described as anything other than a complete disaster. A huge part of the mobile infantry and the fleet was destroyed by the arachnid forces leaving a huge dent in the military's ability to operate and defend human colonies. Within just a few hours of the battle starting, federal forces are ordered to retreat and a few remaining survivors, including Johnny, manage to escape back to safety. The defeat also leads to a massive psychological blow, damaging the morale of the entire Federal Armed Service, as it becomes clear that the arachnids cannot be easily defeated. Facing calls for his resignation following the catastrophe, Sky Marshal Dean steps back from his role as leader of the military. Tehat Muru was immediately installed as the new Sky Marshal, heading up Earth's defense and taking control of the war effort. Tehat Muru understands that defeating the arachnids cannot be accomplished by force alone. Instead, the United Citizen Federation has to learn more about the aliens they're facing so they can devise ways of beating them outside of conventional warfare. To that end, a new strategy is put in place that involves trying to capture a creature known as a brain bug. Johnny is part of a team from the mobile infantry known as the Roughnecks, tasked with landing on planet P to locate and forcibly remove a brain bug, a type of leader arachnid that commands all of the insects on the colony. Johnny's friend Carl, now a high-ranking official within military intelligence, explains that capturing the arachnid leader is necessary so that scientists can extract knowledge about the species and come up with new techniques to combat the arachnids. Johnny and his team successfully managed to capture the brain bug allowing Carl and other members of the military intelligence to take it back to human-controlled space where they study it. 
This is the ending of the original Starship Troopers film, with the rest of the action taking place in sequels and other media. The franchise continued in a director video sequel under the name Starship Troopers 2 – Hero of the Federation in 2004. But none of the main characters from the first film return. Set during the same first bug war as its predecessor, it focuses on the planet Alpha Zulu. The United Citizen Federation has invaded the Arachnid world and even managed to erect several structures on the surface of the planet to act as defenses against the alien threat. However, a mobile infantry team known as Bravo 6 ends up separated from the rest of the human forces and is attacked while attempting to hold up in the stronghold known as Hotel Delta 185. The small group of soldiers attempts to fight off the attacking arachnids using new weaponry like railguns and psychic attacks from soldiers. Along with General Jack Shepard and Captain Dax, the group is forced to wait for rescue while facing continued attacks. Despite believing that they're now safe, Bravo 6 ends up facing a new type of arachnid, called Control Bugs. These smaller aliens are able to get inside the body of humans through open orifices and nest inside the brain, allowing them to infect their host and take control of them. They manage to infect several troopers in Hotel Delta 185 before they can be rescued and quickly spread throughout the entire base. Their plan is to take control of high-ranking members so that the control bugs can make it back to Earth and infect the leaders of the United Citizen Federation and destroy Earth's government from within. Captain Dax and Private Sahara are the only two soldiers who remain free from the control bugs. Dax sacrifices himself so that Sahara is able to escape on a landing pad sent to rescue the troops, allowing her to inform the United Citizen Federation of the new threat. She must reach safety at all costs! Sometime after the events of Starship Troopers 2, Hero of the Federation, the United Citizen Federation and the Arachnids enter an uneasy peace, with hostilities between the two species largely coming to an end. However, this peace would only last around five years before conflict once again breaks out between the two sides. In Starship Troopers 3 Marauder, the second bug war begins almost a decade after the first battles between the Arachnids and the United Citizen Federation. In an attempt to ensure that its military is fully staffed, military leaders have increased wartime propaganda and instantly put down any protests, executing those who object to the ongoing conflict. With neither side able to gain an advantage, the second bug war devolves into trench warfare. Some wonder, are we losing this war? Johnny Rico is now a colonel stationed on the farming planet Roku-san and leads a mobile infantry force tasked with protecting the farmers from invading arachnids. Shortly after Sky Marshal Omar Anoki arrives on the planet in an attempt to boost morale, the base's defenses are lowered, allowing a horde of warrior bugs to overcome the mobile infantry troops and force humans off the planet. It's later revealed that Sky Marshal Omar Anoki was responsible for deactivating the electric perimeter fence. After spending time with the brain bug captured during the events of Starship Troopers, the telepathic arachnid was able to influence Anoki and force him to betray humanity and work directly for the bugs. This treachery is not clear at first though, and Johnny is blamed for the fall of Roku-san, as he was the commanding officer at the time that the mobile infantry was overrun. Johnny is sentenced to be executed for his perceived failure on Roku-san. But before he's hanged, Johnny is secretly taken to a classified military base where he's put in charge of the Marauder program. The only one I can trust. Why is that, buddy? Because everyone thinks you're dead. This is a new experimental group made up of elite soldiers who wear advanced mech suits. The M11 Babar suits have been designed to give the mobile infantry an advantage in the battle against the Arachnids, and Johnny and the rest of his team are sent to OM-1. When Sky Marshal Omar Anoki's treachery becomes clear, Rico and the rest of the Marauders arrive on OM-1. Their mission is to defeat the God Bug, a giant creature that resembles a supersized brain bug which devoured Anoki to absorb his knowledge of the United Citizen Federation. The Marauders are able to rescue the stranded troops on OM-1 before a large human fleet arrives to provide backup. The story continues in 2012's animated film Starship Troopers Invasion. Set several years after the events of the previous movie, it sees Johnny acting as a general within the Federal Armed Service. When a queen bug breaks free from its prison aboard the ship, the John A. Warden, it sets off on a collision course with Earth. Understanding the immense danger that a ship filled with arachnids could pose if it landed on Earth, Johnny sets out to intercept the ship and destroy the bugs inside it before it reaches the human home planet. Johnny's team is able to board the John A. Warden, but only after it destroys several other starships and crash lands on Earth. The troops use C4 explosives to destroy the vehicle and everything within it. This kills the Queen Bug and most of the Warrior Bugs along with almost every member of Johnny's Marauders, and the mobile infantry involved in the attack are lost. 
2017 Starship Troopers Traitor of Mars is a second animated film and the fifth entry in the Starship Troopers movie series. Well, here we go again. Having failed to stop the John A. Warden and the Queen Bug from landing on Earth, Johnny once again takes the blame. This time around, though, he's demoted and reassigned. Stationed on Mars, he now trains new recruits to the mobile infantry, until the traitorous Sky Marshal, Amy Snap, enacts a plot to destroy the planet with a quantum bomb. This is seen as a plot to quell anti-war sentiment coming out of the planet, and to increase their popularity with the United Citizen Federation. Snap hides the fact that an asteroid from arachnid space had landed on Mars many years earlier, and a bug infestation had been slowly growing under the surface during all that time. Johnny leads an assault against the arachnid forces and discovers the hidden quantum bomb. Along with Carmen and Carl, he's ultimately able to stop the threat and expose Snap's plan. After the Mars incident, Carl is promoted to Deputy Sky Marshal, while Johnny is reinstated to his rank of general.